In this lesson, we are going to verify the assumptions 3, 4 and 5 in this list. So let's see whether the relationship between our variables is linear. We will build a scatterplot chart to that effect. So we go here to Graphs Chart Builder. We select scatter dot here in this gallery and drag this icon, simple scatter, in this big window. Now here on the x-axis we drag the variable height, height of case, like this. And here on the y-axis we drag the variable weight of case, like this. Everything is set up now. I press OK. Here is the scatterplot chart that presents the relationship between our variables, height and weight. Let's add a straight line. Double click and in the Elements menu we select Fit Line Total. OK. It's easy to notice that we have a nice linear relationship here. The dots tend to follow the straight line, so we can consider that the linearity assumption is met for our two variables. If the relationship is not linear, if the scatter does not follow a straight line, if it seems to take another shape, we are not allowed to use the Pearson correlation. We should employ the Spearman correlation instead. The Spearman correlation is non-parametric and does not assume a linear relationship. We are going to study it a bit later. As for the normality assumption, we are going to run a shapiro weak normality test for our variables. So let's go to Analyze, Descriptive Statistics, Explore. We enter our variables here, height of case and weight of case. Click the Plots button and select here the option Normality Plots with Tests. Continue. OK. Let's examine the results of the shapiro wilk normality test first, here in this table. Uh, for both variables, the p-value of the shapiro wilk test is greater than 5%. For the h is 0.09 and for the weight is 0.33. So our both variables are approximately normally distributed. Therefore, the fourth assumption related to normality is valid. What to do if the normality assumption is violated? There are three possible solutions. Transform the data hoping that your new variables will be normal. Use a Spearman correlation which is not dependent upon normality. Or run the Pearson correlation regardless given that it is pretty robust to slight violations of normality. For details about how to deal with non-normality you can review the lesson number 19. Now let's inspect quickly the box plot diagrams for both variables to see whether we have outliers. That's the box plot for the variable h, no outliers here, and that's the box plot for the variable weight, no outliers here too. If you do have outliers in your data, please see lesson 22 for some possible solutions. All our assumptions are met, so let's run the Pearson correlation for our variables.